It's time to fire this thing up. Hit it. What everybody's looking at is an amazingly beautiful lake here in upstate New York. It's called Lake Sagandaga. And good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. This is Mike Ohout with TaylorMade Systems, and they're the company that makes like all the boat windshields. Sure. And a couple of weeks back, we were actually working on Mike's boat. It's right back behind us. Yep. It's a 33-foot Maxim, and he wanted us to assist him in the installation of some sea deck flooring. And what's the response from your neighbors on the dock? It's been amazing. Everybody loves it. They take their shoes off and walk on it. A couple of guys already have some on order. Okay. You researched something. You called me and you said, John, you, you have to see what I'm going to put on my boat. What, right. what did you come across? We get a lot of wind here and I was looking for a bow thruster. I uh, wasn't interested in poking the big hole in the boat. So I found an externally uh, installed bow thruster called Side Shift. Externally mounted. Externally mounted. Okay, and where's the company from? Uh, Canada. Did they give you any kind of quote on installation costs? Yeah, it's uh, about a thousand dollars. Okay, what if we work out a little deal? Because I found out that you made the original windshield on our 1959 15 foot glass drawn fireplace. That's correct. Okay. Do you still have the mold? We do. Do you still make holiday windshields every today? day? Every day. Okay, how much are they? Uh, between five and seven hundred dollars. Okay, what if we do a little horse trade? All right, what That's if you get me a new windshield for my boat, I'll help with my team on the installation, cut down some of those costs for you. It's an even swap. Cool? Sounds great. Well, guys, today's program is going to be amazing with technology. If you have a boat with a lot of sail, you know, on the side right. of it, like Mike's boat here, but we also have a really cool factory tour lined up where we're going to see one of these classic windshields get made again. But first, we need to give kudos to all the wonderful companies who helped make this show possible. Ship Shape TV, where boat improvement lives, is made possible by the entire collection of beautiful Sunbrella fabrics. Sunbrella, the only fabric to offer both design and performance above and below deck. By Yamaha, reliability starts here. And by the TaylorMade Group, leading marine manufacturers of original and replacement boat tops and covers windshields, windows, and hard-to-find replacement parts. Aftermarket accessories are all new custom T-top covers and more. Let us help you make your boat look ship shape again. Welcome back. You're watching Ship Shape TV, boat improvement made easy. Mike Ohout from TaylorMade Systems, the company that makes all the boat windshields, and I are doing some horse trading. He's going to get us a replacement, exact replica of a windshield that I have, you know, that I need actually for a 1959 Glastron. And in exchange, I'm gonna help him to do a do-it-yourself type of installation on a bow thruster that he's been researching. Now the company's called Sideshift and they're from Canada. And this is completely different than a traditional type of bow thruster, guys. I think it's going to blow your minds. And who we have on the program right now is Mark Hool. And Mark is the president of the company. And um, unlike a traditional bow thruster, Mark, where you have to have a giant hole saw. Yeah. And, and literally, you have to cut through both sides of the V on the bow of the boat. And you have to glass in a mm -hmm. tube. And then all of the motors and propellers go on the inside of it. Yeah. Okay, a lot of fairing, very expensive. Yeah. Apparently, this mounts externally. What unit is everybody looking at right here? Yeah, this is the SS340. And uh, this is for 30 to 40 foot boats, which suits Mike's boat really well. So this is going on Mike's boat? Yeah. Okay, and, and, and how, what, what is this? This is the motor down here. This is the 340 motor. And um, this unit will mount on Mike's boat very quickly. It's a nice, nice installation on his boat. Now, on a traditional bow thruster, kind of how the blades work is they'll suck water through the tube, yeah. and then it'll try to jet it out the other side. It works like with pressure yeah. or whatever. Does this work differently? 
Yeah, very different. Uh, different principle altogether. So uh, traditionally you have to suck the water in one end of the tube, push it out the other, and it, it, you rely on the pressure of the water to push your boat. Uh, this is more of a torpedo effect. And what it does is it, uh, both props turn at the same time in either direction, and it just pulls your boat one way or the other. Okay, what is, what is the white coating? The white coating is a uh, anti-foul coating right from the factory. And so it's like a bottom paint on your So it's boat. already done, you don't have to done. put anti-fouling on it. Okay, how is it powered? Powered by 12 volt batteries. So 12 volt DC current. Um, we do have a 24 volt version as well, but on the larger boat. Now, Mike was saying that a lot of people are doing this themselves. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that you have, you know, trailers and professional installers yeah. all over the place. And, yeah. and if somebody's not mechanically inclined, yeah. you do the service. Absolutely. He said the service was like a thousand dollars. That's not much for no. an installation compared to the other type of bow thrusters. Yeah. Okay. Um, but this is very much a do-it-yourself mm. type of thing. What percentage of your customers are putting it in themselves? 50% of our installers are the do-it-yourselfer. Really? Um, so it, it's fantastic. It's easy to do. The manual is really comprehensive, easy to go through. Do, do you make different models for yep. different size boats? Yeah, so the SS230 is 20 to 30 foot boats. Right. The SS340 is 30 to 40 foot boats. Okay. And the SS350 is uh, 40 to 50 foot boats. We also go to 75 foot boats for different, with a different thruster as well for pontoon and and uh, houseboat systems, but now, now this thruster right here looks completely different than mm -hmm. this one. Uh, what, where, where is this used? This is actually our stern thruster. It's very similar motor-wise and control-wise, but the mounting system is different to to adapt to a stern of a boat. Is this too going to go onto Mike's boat? Yes. So he's going to have a bow thruster and, and a stern thruster. How do yeah. you control it? Yeah, this is a really cool product. This is a wireless joystick, completely wireless. Um, it just needs power to power it up, that's it. And then it talks to the receivers mm. and uh, the receivers control the motor controllers. So, so is that like a Bluetooth? Yep, it's uh, 240 hertz. So it's, it's completely wireless, it's amazing. Is there any other way to operate the bow thruster? Yeah, the uh, key fob with the lanyard is, is awesome. And uh, it can be, you can operate the bow or the stern thruster right from that from anywhere you yeah. don't have to be at the helm you can be on the you can be on the dock and operate it so <laughs> that's cool that is really cool okay so these are the tools involved in the installation yeah got a little car i mean this does not look hard what what are we looking at here with these yeah. items yeah these are these are motors so say 10 20 years down the road you have to uh, change a motor uh, for whatever reason um, they're really easy to take off and, and to replace so this is mike's five horsepower yeah. motor what is, what is this one Two and a half horsepower. Two and a half. Motor. Yeah. Okay, what in the world is this device? Yeah, that's a really cool product. That's our newest uh, family member, and this is our pontoon boat thruster. Right. And this mounts underneath the deck of a pontoon boat in between the pontoons. Even on a triple pontoon, it mounts perfectly. Do you have any idea how huge the pontoon market yeah. is here in the it's, United States? It's, it's massive. Yeah. I think boat builders are going to be going crazy yeah. trying to get in touch with you. Okay, how much is a bow thruster from side shift compared to like a Vetus bow thruster with, with the installation costs, everything? What yeah. are we looking at? For three to $4,000 installed. Um, oh my word. It's, it's amazing. You can, you know, it's much, much cheaper and the performance is, is better in a lot of cases. Okay, how do we get people at home if they're interested, if they have windage, mm -hmm. okay, and they can't get into the dock or maybe they were trying to get to a restaurant and there's only so yeah. much space. Yeah. And they can't really work both those engines to yeah. get in, you know, sideways into that slip or into that space. Yeah. Okay, and they want a bow thruster, it's portable. How do they get you? Yeah. John, all they have to do is go to sideshift.com. Stay bolted. Chip Shape TV will be back in a stick. Welcome back. The light's still on in the tool shed, which means there's still work to do. What do we have, John? It's taken us only about six hours to put in the side shift SS340 bow thruster on the Mike Ohaus boat, and it's now installed. And there's two ways, guys, that you can do this. It, it is a do-it-yourself project if you want. It is. Okay? Or you can hire a chief certified installer from side shift, and that's who we have here. This is Patrick Della Hunty. A couple of key things that you need to look at if you're going to be doing it yourselves, and I want to talk about the two front anchors on the bow. What do you glue them into the fiberglass with? 
So the anchors are held in with, an, with a special epoxy that's supplied with the kit. Um, all you need is a dispenser. Um, the, the epoxy is placed on the outside of the anchor and then the anchors are slid into the half inch holes that are drilled on both sides, flush with the outside of the hull, and then they're left there to set for four to six hours. It's also very critical, guys. Here's the five and a half horsepower motor, okay? And do you see the tip of the blade? This needs to set five and a half inches down below the surface of the water and don't think that it's going to interfere with drag because what's going to happen is once the boat starts taking off at any speed, it's going to lift up out of the water. It won't create any, That's right. all right? But it needs to be at that measurement. I also want to talk, Patrick, about the location of the joystick. Yep. Uh, Mike, if you look at his wheel, at his helm, his controls are over on the right side. They're on the starboard side. Yep. You suggested, hey, let's put the joystick so that his left hand can control that so he can control, has full control of the boat. That's right. Okay, which is really key. You don't want to put them all on the same side, guys, so you have to switch back and forth. And I thought that was really good advice. Yeah. I also want to talk about the cabling. This bow thruster is so innovative, okay, so ahead of its time. I want to talk about something so simple, but brilliant. I haven't seen it before, and I've been doing this for a long time. I want to talk about the special lug. This is also made in Canada. Who makes it? Quick cable. Quick cable. Guys, this is ingenious. There's no crimping here. There's no soldering. Basically, what you do is you take your cable and you unscrew this part. You run your cable through it with, you know, you've got your insulation, you've got the insulation peeled back. It goes into the lug and then this turns and it kind of swedges the cable into it. But you, you don't want to turn it with a wrench on this end, okay? you want to kind of hold it and then turn this side and it's just absolutely fantastic when we're installing this unit there's a special bracket going into those anchors we want to use anises for those two anchors the stainless steel that'll, that'll keep it from galling okay and it also let you uh, take it off but that center bolt we want to use something different it's a loctite and it's also supplied in your kit that's a nut once it's snugged on to your unit and we trim the end of the bolt off this, this Loctite is in behind the nut, and that'll stop that nut from backing out on you. Okay, it's also critical with a hacksaw that you're gonna have to cut off the excess length of that nut, because there's a shroud that's gonna slide over top of that, so it has to be cut. There's only three more holes that go into the bow of the boat. One's in the center, two around the side, they're half inch holes. Right, one's and, a quarter inch, two are half inch. Okay, and these are for the cabling that's and everything, right. and once everything gets hooked up, you're in very, very good shape. Now, installation runs about $1,000, that's very nominal. Yeah. Okay, or you can do it yourself. Guys, what we need to do, I fulfilled my end of the deal with O House, okay? He needs to make me a holiday windshield, and he's going to be doing that right after the commercial break. If you'd like to watch today's episode again, go to our website, shipshapetv.com, and watch it free on any device, anytime, anywhere in the world. Tell a boating friend today. Okay, John, what you're seeing here is Mike's taking the protective coating off this acrylic uh, piece of material for your holiday windshield. All right. And you lived up to your end of the bargain on the horse trade, and I'm doing the same. Fantastic. Well, guys, welcome back. Where we're now at is about 15 miles south of Mayfield. Saginaw you, Lake. Where right. you keep your 33-foot yep. maximum. Yep. All right. And we have Mike O'Hout on the program, and Mike is the vice president of sales and marketing for TaylorMade Systems. Right. And you are bar none the world's largest manufacturer of marine windshields. Yeah. And we need a replacement holiday windshield, that's what it's called, the style, for our 1959 15 foot glass round fireflight. And I did my research. You made the original windshield in 1959, tailor made system. And, and what is the big machine that Mike's? Nothing more be than putting a big, the acrylic it's a, into. It's a big furnace that uh, that the acrylic material goes inside that gets heated so it's pliable. Okay, and then it goes into what this mold. This mold behind us. That's right. And and that's how it kind of gets its form. It does. And then once it cools down, it stays that way. That's correct. There are thousands of boats around the country that have these holiday windshields, and it's so cool that you can get them. It can make a boat look brand new again. Absolutely. You get a brand new windshield. Sure. But, but let's talk about what we have here on the table, mm -hmm. Mike. Um, a lot of boaters are going to be very interested 
in this information. First off, what's this piece of hardware right That's here? a standard support arm that we've been using for many, many years in the industry. Okay, so this goes from the windshield frame, you know, you got your rake here, down mm -hmm. to the dash. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed that the, the actual uh, bases will sometimes go prior to the shank or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, this is a good example of an older style uh, base many, many years of service. So, so you sell just the individual yep. piece or the entire up. assembly? Exactly. I'm very familiar with this, Mike. Um, do you remember our 1966 20 foot Bertram Moppy project boat? Okay, mm -hmm. well it had a water bonnet windshield on it and it had those side vents that came out and this is the T-handle and I was missing one and I contacted you That's right. and he actually got me this stuff. And, and I'm telling you, this is not easy to find. This is really, really cool. If, if you have a section of a windshield where your extrusion is corroded, you, yep. you offer that. We do. Um, what's some other hardware you have here? This is uh, pretty common. This is uh, screw cover vinyl. Uh, some of the older boats uh, had more of a foam type material. You see the shrinking in the field. Uh, that's been replaced now with more of a, a vinyl type material. Okay. This will not shrink. So there's been a lot of advancements in the hardware. Absolutely. Okay. And, and you're making it much more durable. Mm -hmm. Can we help out the... Do you guys remember the, the flat sliding windows like on the oldie time Chris Crafts? Sure. Okay. Hardware in, in, in those sliding windows disappears over 40 or 50 years. Absolutely. Um, can, can we look at some of that? This is a very common part to replace on that style of windshield. It's a weave slot cover. Okay. And what that does is covers up the drainage system that's built into the windshield. These are on the outside and they get sheared off and they get corroded and these are uh, easy to replace. So, so the rain hits the flat glass right. and it goes down. It goes into a channel and then it's, it's a And then a it weeps out, it weeps out the whole, on the outside of the boat so it doesn't go on the inside Correct. of the boat. That's and, right. And so you have all of those replacements. Let's talk about the services that you offer pleasure boaters, okay? You can supply replacement hardware. We can. For any windshield out there, whether it's a water bonnet or whether it's a TaylorMade or whatever. You've been making windshields since the 50s. Right. Okay? So if somebody has a, maybe a section of a windshield frame that is corroded, you, you can do individual pieces. We can. Right? Yep. Absolutely. You, you can replace glass if it's busted. That's right. Or something like that. Do you have any kind of, uh, I don't know, re remodeling of older windshields? We do. We'll strip it down, repair any, any areas that may be a concern, repowder coat it, maybe put new vinyls in it, even new glass if necessary, ship it back to the customer. You also offer brand new windshields for replacement That's to current boat owners. Okay, I'm getting um, a acrylic bent holiday mm -hmm. windshield, but right. you do all the glass windshields, I, you wouldn't believe how awesome this factory is. This is, this is very, very cool. Yep. And take us through the process of once we get the holiday windshield down to Florida in the shop, how would we go about installing it to the Glastron with this in mind? We completely glassed over all the original holes right, that's and good. we re-gel coated the boat so we have a clean slate to work with. Right. Do we have to do any trimming to this windshield or is it going to fit perfect? You shouldn't have to. Uh, it's designed that there's a vinyl that goes along with it. It's designed to take up any imperfections in the deck, if you will. Um, we've designed the windshields in that way. Okay. Do we have to protect the area first? Yeah, it's a good idea to put down some, uh, some protective tape, line the windshield up, set it on there mark for your holes and go ahead and drill. Okay, you also want to countersink those holes, guys, yes, if it's a fiberglass important. boat so that you don't get any spider cracking coming from around them. And does all of the hardware that actually mounts it to the, the top cap of the boat, do, does that come it with It does, the, comes with a complete setup. With the windshield, okay. How do we get the millions of pleasure boaters out there in contact with almost an impossible item to replace. You can't go to a big box store and get any of right, this stuff. Right. How do we get them to you? Yeah, go to our website at boatwindshieldrepair.com. Mike, thank you so much. We're gonna take our final time out of the day, but this is really exciting because when we come back, we're gonna be out on the water on Mike's boat, and the guys at Side Shift are gonna yeah. teach both of us how to use the new bow thruster. We will literally be enjoying a cruise right after this. Don't pull up anchor. Ship Shape TV will be right back. That's right, our project today is pretty much complete, which means we're now back on the water with John.
Well, here we are on Lake Saugandaga. It's a little bit windy, and we again have Mike Ohout. Okay, he's driving his boat, and we have successfully installed not only a side shift bow thruster, but also a stern thruster. He wanted the stern thruster. And we have Mark Poole on the program, the president of side shift. And Mark, I want to talk a little bit about operating this. This joystick has two controls. Yeah. All right. I know that we installed a bow thruster, but Mike also wanted the stern thruster. Mm -hmm. Is the forward one for the bow thruster and the back one for the exactly. stern thruster? Exactly. So the, the front one will operate the bow thruster. If you push it this way, it's going to push the bow that way. If you push it this way, it'll push the bow this way. Okay. And same as the stern, you just push it that way, you know, push the, the uh, stern that way, you push it that way, you push the stern that way. Okay, fantastic. Now, this is like Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. So not only is it running the controllers wirelessly, yeah. but is it also connected to the lanyard that, yeah. that Mike is wearing? So, and yes. uh, kind of show yeah. that to everybody around his neck. Yeah, so this is really cool because uh, this thing here talks to the joystick and the joystick then talks to the receivers. But same deal here, you push this button for bow left and push this one for bow right, stern left and stern, or stern right. Man, so. that is so yeah, nice and cool. Um, the technology that's coming out of Canada is just off the charts. And guys, if you're looking for a very inexpensive, high-tech, whisper quiet bow thruster, okay, I think you might want to check this company out. Now normally, Mark was telling me what you want to do is you want to paint the white unit, whatever bottom paint color your boat is, so it kind of blends in. All right, we didn't do that because we wanted to kind of show you it. But here it is working at the dock. We tried to get you some above water shots. We also tried to get you some underwater shots of how this thing operates. And what do you think? Man? I think it's fantastic. Okay. I'm excited about it. Well, dude, thank you. And, and Mark, thank you oh, and your staff. Thank you. We need to thank Patrick, our professional installer, as well as all the pros in the marine industry who helped make today's show possible. But we're all out of time. I'm John Graviscus. You already know the guys. We will see you on the next go around.